Well, man, okay. Uh, we about to we about to get this we 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 about to get this uh working. You know what I'm saying? We're gonna get this working for this for this commentary right quick. Hmm. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. All right, let's go ahead and start it. What's happening, LOM community? Good to see you guys again. Lockout men back with another commentary. Yo, let's go. Let's get into it. Ryan Little. <laughs> All right, so what's up, everybody? Lockout Men, back again with another commentary for you. I know it's been a little minute, and you guys still are wondering what is going on with the Lockout Men. Well, there's has been a lot of stuff that's been going on with me, and I haven't, I, I, I haven't let it off my chest yet. I still got it right here. It's still on the chest, and it's it's beating profusely to 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 let it all out but you know me i like to hold a lot of stuff to the chest and not give out too much details at least not yet anyway all right i mean what happened to me the the couple of weeks ago which was which was effed up you know what i'm saying and just remember always have some f you money you know shout out to my man that just gave me that 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 coined the term F U money. You know what I'm saying? If you get into any situation that you feel that the company is just not doing you right, make sure you have that F U money to get up out of there so that you won't be in that uh situation. Well, let's uh let's let's talk about today's commentary. It, it of course it comes from a Facebook group because I'm in a lot of them. But um this young lady right here has has came on with a post that you know that kind of touched me because I spoke with a lot of drivers that has transitioned from corporate, you know, the nine to five to being the truck driver, the 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 twenty four hours, you know what I'm saying? But she had a little bit of issues, so let's see let's see what she's talking about here. She says. Has anyone ever left their corporate job to join the trucking industry? Yes, there has been a lot of people that has done that. Um, you know, you, you can go on YouTube and, and follow a few people's journeys that, you know, that came from uh, corporate America to come into the trucking industry. You know, sometimes they was either forced out, they probably got bored or they just want a change of pace or a change of scenery you know now not too many people you know not too many people can handle that type of transition though she says she is a nurse she says i'm a nurse brought my truck really hard to find a good driver i've been scammed by a driver too yes it is you know being the owner operator as i just got finished talking to uh talking to my man jr from m m way transportations definitely check him out and shout out to him for coming on to the show but as he said as he stated that you know it is hard to find some qualified drivers there's a difference between a driver and a qualified driver and you already been scammed by one driver i'm i'm i wouldn't be surprised to say that all new owner operators got scammed by 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 a driver or two in in their career now whatever he has done to you hopefully you was able to get back out of it she says she's been thinking lately to get her cdl and drive her own truck which will probably be a good idea um you know you might want to uh consider driving your truck until you feel a little bit more comfortable with letting somebody else drive the truck all right now of course if let's say he would have left that truck in no man's land then you will have to find another cdl driver pay them and get them out to your truck so they can bring that truck back to you if it's in a condition to roll all right 
Uh, she said recently she moved to Florida, and I don't like the health care system set. Mm, health care. Wow. You know, it's, it's, it's kind of hard with health care. You know, I, I think that's probably might be the number one thing that we looking for as far as looking for a trucking company. You know, I know some of you guys will probably say no lockout. Um, you want to know what's the first thing we look for? We look for the money. I understand. But what if you get hurt? What if you get sick? What if you get, what if you, what, what, look at what happened to my man Youngblood. He got COVID and he had to go through a whole bunch of issues because he didn't have the health care. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Uh, set. She says, everything is like ancient days. It seems backwards, overworked, and underpaid. <sighs> ain't that what all, it, I, I'm sorry. Is, ain't, ain't that what all companies, overworked and overpaid, restaurant workers, uh, labor workers. Look at, look at Amazon. I think Amazon will probably be a perfect example of overworked, and underpay now let amazon tell it amazon to come in and be like yo we came here y'all didn't have nothing before us nothing before us like nothing but now that we hear we gave you a job. We gave you $15 an hour. And you're going to complain about how we operate? Well, yes, because y'all operate with a slave mentality. I heard through the grapevine that when you go on a break, you got a half an hour. From what I hear, it takes about a good 15 minutes to get to the break room. And they tight on that. I mean, if anybody work at Amazon, you know what? I would love to talk to an Amazon employee. You, you know what? I, I know an, I, you know what? I know an Amazon employee, but I, you know what? She been there for a long time. Um, but we, we was talking trucks. We didn't actually talk Amazon. So I think I'm going to bring her back on to, to, to share her experience with Amazon. But from what I hear, Amazon, man, you, 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 it takes about 10, 15 minutes to get to the break room, eat, two seconds to eat, and then you got to be back on the floor. You know what? I think my cousin worked at Amazon. I got to call her up and find out if she worked at Amazon. But what Amazon is saying, though, is that, yo, y'all ain't had shit before we came here. Now that we here, you're going to complain. You're going to bitch. You're going to moan. But that's because they, you know, they, they feel kind of jaded now. I mean, let's be honest. Let's be honest now. You know, Amazon, let's be honest. Let's treat these people like they're people, like they're human beings. They're not... They're not just a number. You know, I heard through the grapevine that they're on a point system. You come late, that's a half a point. You come, you, you can't even call off if you're sick. That's a half a point. Amazon, man, come on. I, and, and I hear you guys. I hear you truckers. I hear you truckers. You know, I just talked to my guy, and I asked him. I was like, look, that's, that, that's what everybody want to run to. They want to run to Amazon. They want to pull Amazon freight. So easy to pull it, but so hard to keep it. Because Amazon change up daily. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Now, she says, with that, I'm using my nursing salary to finance my trucking business. She wants to know if anybody with similar experience, any suggestions, welcome, and thanks in advance. So, guys, if you have any suggestions for this young lady right here, definitely leave it in the comments below. Um, if you guys have been in that similar situation, 
leave that in the comments below. You know, and if you work for Amazon, definitely hit me up in the DM over at Instagram. That's Lockout Men. I want to talk to you, bro, or assist. I want to know what was what was what was it like working at Amazon? If you still working there, or you or you have worked there, I want to know the experience. You know, um. Uh, she gonna use her fine, you know. She gonna use her nursing finance, so she probably got like a little nest egg, and she gonna she gonna use that to actually, you know, get her trucking business up and running. Uh, take a little bit of that and go and get your license, all right. And I'm I'm gonna be honest with you. Um, you know, some people probably might disagree. Some people might agree. You can run a trucking business without having your license but it's going to be better to have your license because you will understand not only the business side but you'll understand the trucking side as well so when a trucker calls you up and say hey i'm out of hours then you'll understand what he's talking about you can turn around and be like oh okay all right well i, I see your hours is this that and the third all right or you or you know something goes wrong with the truck or or the truck got to be put in the shop you know you you'll probably have a better understanding i talked to uh uh one of my lady uh interviewees and she said that the thing that she done before she got the before she owned her business she learned the truck inside and out so that when the truck breaks down she won't she, she won't get uh she won't get jaded when she take it into the shop so learn the truck learn the business well you're learning the business but learn the truck and how to drive the truck and i think you will be all right all right i think you'll be good 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 think you'd be good where the money was at. What a money reside. What a money reside. What a money reside. What a money reside. Yeah, that's what's up. <laughs> I watch way too many YouTube videos. <laughs> well, anyway, that's going to do it for the Lockout Men podcast show. I really appreciate you guys being here. Uh, today's commentary brought to you by... My man from Amway Transportation. Yes, sir. If you guys looking for looking for a minority-owned uh, trucking company, definitely check him out. He's located in North Carolina, and you can go on to Facebook up under Amway, just like M Street. This this how it sounds. Amway Transportation, and check out and see what he has to offer for. Uh, for you potential drivers out here. He's looking for straight-minded, career-driven, uh, in, in, in entrepreneurial thinking type drivers. So to help him grow his business as well as growing your potential business. M-Way Transportation. Definitely check them out. All right, so that's going to do it. I really appreciate it. If you guys want to come on to the show, definitely hit me up in the Instagram. I mean, the DM over at Instagram or hit me up in the Gmail. That's LockoutManPodcast at gmail.com. Let me know if you guys want to come on and talk or promote or anything like that. You have a trucking business. You have a you you have a trucking business, or you just want to come on and talk, uh, chop it up, or whatever you want to do. Let me know, and we'll get it on. That's what we do. You know what I'm saying? I'm uh, I'm working for you now. That I am doing it uh, this way, I don't be going live no more. I wish I could, but I'm a truck driver, and I don't have the time. At least I don't have the time like I used to. Just saying. But I still got the time to talk to you, and then we'll get it up in the premiere. Um, if you guys have a trucking company that you guys want me to call, y'all know how to do that too. Uh, suggest a call. Hit me up with some coffee in the uh, in the Cash App, and uh, I would get that company on uh, on on the show. All right, you guys take it easy, and I'll holler back at you guys with another one. Peace. Brian Little. <laughs>